Hey guys, so I wanted to just film a quick in intro for this video. Today we are going to be looking at my full makeup collection for 2017. I don't want this to be a long intro, but I did want to let you know I recently did reorganize my full collection and I really just wanted to share with you guys the new way that I have everything stored and how I figured out, you know, how to place everything. It's not perfect. I definitely have a lot of tweaking that I still want to do with individual drawer drawers. Um, I do need some new storage containers for a few of the drawers but overall I really like um, kind of the layout of it now. I feel like it's a lot more functional than how I had it previously with my very large growing collection and of course you guys know the drill. I don't feel like I need to do this um, disclaimer every time but unfortunately there are some very negative people out there that like to leave comments but um, you guys know how it is. This um, Makeup collection is a very large collection. I know nobody needs this much makeup, but makeup is my job. I work at Sephora, I do YouTube, so I do get uh, free products sent to me. And of course, I'm just a makeup junkie, so I do have a very large collection, I do realize that. I do utilize my collection quite well. I have a Shop My Stash series where I do rotate my makeup so that I make sure things are getting used. So I will link that above in case you're interested in seeing that. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump right in because this is gonna be a long video. All right, so this is kind of a stepped back overview. It's kind of hard to get a good angle because my room is pretty tiny and this is just one corner of it. Um, so I do have my Alex Shore side by side. If you guys missed it, I did recently share with you guys when I expanded my storage where I got my second Alex 9 and the second desk here. Um, so I will link that above in case you're interested in seeing. Um, it did have a little bit better view of overview of everything. So that is um, most of my makeup is stored in those and we are going to go through those. I do have some products stored in this little container here. I do have also a file folder letter thing up there with some palettes. And then these are my two everyday makeup drawers. So those are full makeup as well. So we will look at all of that also. I do have my nail polish up there. It's hard to see because it's kind of dark. I have all the lighting pointed this way because that's what we're going to be looking at today. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through all of these drawers and we're going to start with the Alex 9 drawers. Okay, so the top drawer on the left side, this now has all of my foundations and concealers. So I put my foundations um, over on like laying flat on this side and then these are concealers and color correctors up front here. So that is how I have it. Um, I do have quite a few concealers actually. Um, that's something I kind of need to probably either purge some soon or start using some of these up a little bit because I do have a lot currently for concealers. Um, Foundations, I actually have been working through my foundations uh, pretty well recently, so I don't have a ton left. Now, I do have a few of everything in my everyday makeup drawer, obviously, because that's where I keep, um, you know, the products that I use on a daily basis. So these are currently my backups, but I do rotate that out frequently in case you um, haven't seen them. I do have like a Shop My Stash series where I rotate out my collection. So um, I will link the most recent one above for you guys. So you can check that out. But yeah, this is kind of how I have it set up right now. And these are actually both... Um, under eye concealers are just too big to fit in this little container. This drawer, I'm not really loving the way I have it organized, but I did run out of organizers, so I just kind of did it this way for now. All right, the second drawer down, this is all my primers. So I have face primers and eye primers in here. All my larger like face primer type products are gonna be on this side. Um, some of my favorites are definitely my Becca. I love this Becca Backlight Primer. I also really love the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. These are both fantastic. Um, and this one actually is pretty new for me but I really have been enjoying it. It's the Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay. That one's really nice as well. And then I do have some lid primers also kind of stuck in here. So these are all eyelid primers. So yeah, I have quite a bit there as well. This next drawer is all of my powders, all of my face powders. So I use powder just for setting. I don't typically wear it on its own. Um, so most of these are powders that you can use for setting, but um, some of them are like foundation powders, but I still use it as a setting powder. Like this one from Cover Effects. This is a really nice foundation powder that I use to set with. It does add a little bit of extra coverage. That one's really nice. And I have an Hourglass powder in here. This one is in Luminous Light. I also have the Hourglass uh, palette, but that is in my Use It or Lose It drawer, which I'll show you guys. So that's that one. Let's see, this is one of my all-time favorites, the Pure 4-in-1. That one is a really good powder. Um, I have this Kat Von D Loose powder, which I'm still kind of playing with. So far, 
It's not my favorite. This is supposed to be translucent, but I don't know about that one. So that is basically my face powder drawer. Oh, and by the way, this container came from Charming Charlie's. A lot of my containers came from there and they are all discontinued. You can't find them anymore. I have looked because a lot of people ask, but yeah, this is from Charming Charlie's. All right, this next drawer, I love this drawer, you guys. This is my highlighting drawer. So I used to have my highlighters and bronzers in one drawer. Since I expanded my storage, I was able to give this its own drawer, which I love. This little container, I put all of the cream and like stick type of um, highlights in here. And then I have the larger powder highlights just kind of laid out. So it makes it so much easier to see what I have. I used to store them all on their side, but then it was so hard to see them. So I actually prefer having them this way, even though they're kind of loose. I just, I really like having them stored like this. Um, some of my favorite highlights, I love this one from Laura Mercer. This is in this shade Indiscretion. This is so stunning. It's so beautiful. Really love that. Um, I really like my Becca highlights, of course. I have a lot of those. Um, I really love this Erno Laszlo one. This is the Fairy Glow. It's really old, but I love that. Um, the Urban Decay Sin. And then I do have some smaller highlights back here. I have this little, it's actually an eyeshadow container, but none of, I. I like the way my single eyeshadows are already contained, so I used it just for these. I have it sitting on its side and then just some of my smaller highlights in here. So I have like a miniature version of the Hourglass um, Strobe Powder in Incandescent Strobe Light. And then these are all ColourPop highlighters. This is the Glow Subtle from Lancome. And then I have some other ones back there. So yeah, I really like the way this drawer turned out. All right, this next drawer is all of my blushes. This container, once again, did come from Charming Charlie's. Um, and again, it is discontinued. So you aren't able to find that anymore, unfortunately. Um, but I really love the way it fits my blushes. So I do keep my blushes in here. Um, so I have the mostly by size or brand. My favorites are definitely the Clinique Cheek Pops. I love these. Um, I also really, really do like these uh, Milani Rose Blushes. The formula on those is fantastic as well. I love my Hourglass Blushes. I only have two, but these are really nice. The Mood Mood Exposure is my favorite. I also have some like Physicians Formula. These ones here are back here are Tarte. I have a, quite a few MAC Blushes. Um, these are from Laura Geller, so yeah, I have a mixture of stuff. My very favorite blush back here is the Rockateur from Benefit. Um, I really love that one. It's kind of tricky to get it out, but yeah, I love those. Okay, this next drawer is one of the drawers that I am not really loving the way I have it set up, so this might change eventually, but this is where all my bronzers are currently at. So um, I put kind of some of the larger and kind of awkward size bronzers in this little container here, and then I just kind of laid everything else flat so that it's easy to see what I have. So that's what I have. I don't have a massive amount of bronzers, but I really love all the ones that I do own. And yeah, that is my bronzer drawer. Okay, so next I have my face palette drawer. So I used to kind of store these either like with my um, blushes or bronzers, depending on what the palette is, and it just was, there wasn't enough room in there for these because they're kind of bulky. So I gave them their own drawer. I love having these separated now. Um, so I, yeah, that's how they are. Some of these are just blushes. Some are highlights and blushes, like this one here from Becca. It has um, highlights and blushes in it. So that one is really stunning. I have my Shade and Light um, by Kat Von D. The Sephora Collection one is a holiday one from last year, and it's all blushes and it's stunning. There's actually a highlight in the center there, but I really love the formula on these. I almost got rid of this just because I didn't have a good place to store it, but now that I have this drawer, I'm so happy I kept it because I really do love these. And then quite a bit more back here of like my NARS um, Steven Klein palette. That is a pure cosmetics cream contour kit. Um, I have my Charlotte Tilbury. This is a um, Smashbox that was actually a point perk. Uh, the Physician's Formula one. I've got my Twinkle one back here from Tarte. That's the first Twinkle one. So yeah, that's what I have in this drawer. Okay, the last two drawers. This one is like all of my supplies. So I have like cotton rounds. I've got extra beauty blenders. Um, you know, stuff like that. So this is just a miscellaneous drawer. This is my skincare overflow drawer. So I have a ton of skincare products in here. These are all my backups that I will start using once I run out of the ones that I'm currently using. So, and then in the back are all my sheet masks, which I have way too many right now. There are so many sheet masks back there. It's crazy. Um, but I do use 
use them a lot. As you guys would see in my empties videos, I'm constantly using them, so I definitely love my sheet masks. All right, so we're gonna start on the bottom on this side and work our way up. So I'm trying not to show you guys the back of this drawer because I actually have a bunch of stuff from the Ulta sale back there um, off camera and I don't wanna show you guys because I need to haul it once, I'm d once the sale is over. So um, this drawer though is all my new products. So I put things in here when I purchase them and then I will go here first with my Shop My Stash and pull in all my new stuff um, before I start pulling other stuff. So that way, that way I don't get overwhelmed with trying new products. Um, I just will, when I do my rotation, pull in new stuff. And there's quite a bit in here for me to try. These actually are um, products that I just got from um, Content Boulevard from a brand called Romand. And I want to show you guys because these are actually, the packaging on these are really beautiful. I was really impressed when I opened them up. Um, I believe it's a Korean brand. I don't know a lot of information on it yet, so I'm going to have to look it up. But this um, this is a lipstick in the shade, I don't know, it's in Korean. So, But that's what it looks like. It's a really pretty kind of pinky coral color. But it's just really good, thick, heavy packaging. Like you can feel that it was well made. And it has a heavy magnetic closure on it, which I always appreciate on a lipstick. And then this blush, you guys have to see this blush. The packaging on this, look how pretty that is. It's like a swirled marble effect. And again, it just feels really well made. And then when you open up, you have a really nice mirror. And then it has this like gold um, inlay thing. And it actually protects the powder with this little like plastic sleeve. Isn't that cool? I just really liked it. I was really impressed when I opened this up. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys that. But yeah, this is where I put all the new products until I get a chance to pull them into my next Shop My Stash. All right. And the second from the bottom, this is all of my... Um, standard size eyeshadow palettes well most of them so all of the palettes that are like the size of like a naked palette about that size they go in here and I just have them sitting kind of stacked like this so I can see what they are from the top and then some other kind of odd shapes over here on this side then in this drawer I have my larger eyeshadow palettes that are just a little too big to fit with those other ones um, so I have like uh, the Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place I have all my Lorac Pros 1, 2, and 3 stacked up over here um, I've got a Morphe palette down here this is a holiday palette from Too Faced which I'm actually giving that to my mom when she comes to visit because she wanted it um, and then this vice palette the next drawer this is all my small eyeshadow palettes so I have a lot of like small drugstore palettes um, even some high-end like this is from Viseart I've got my um, Too Faced natural matte in here so really anything that's just kind of small and awkward goes in here okay this next drawer is all of my single eyeshadows and again this is the charming charlie container that same as the blush drawer it's discontinued so i have quite a few single shadows i've got a bunch of the nars duos i love these or the duo chromes i love those those are beautiful i have a ton of the bodyography single glitters i love these as well one of my absolute favorites um, I really like the Kat Von D um, Metal Crush shadows, so I have a bunch of those as well. Um, I've got a bunch of the Bella shadows from Milani. These ones are okay. Not fantastic, but they're okay. The Infallible ones from L'Oreal are really great, though. I really love those as well. So, yeah, that's, that's what this drawer is. And then I have some, like, pencil-type ones over here. I really love the By Terry ones. These are beautiful. I would like to get some more of those. Those are called the Ombre Black Stars. Um, by the way, this shade is called Pearl Radiant. So pretty. The next drawer is all of my eyeliners and mascaras. So the mascaras that are back here, none of these are opened. Um, if you watch my shop, my stash will already know this, but I keep them unopened in this container until I'm ready to pull them into my everyday makeup drawer. So once I use something up from my everyday makeup drawer, I'll come over here and pull a new one to pull in. So these are all just waiting to get tried out. Some of them I've used before and some of them are brand new for me. Um, these are all my eyeliners, liquid and pencil liners all in here. And then I have some brow backup products right up front here. So this drawer is now my eyelash drawer. I never really had a good place to put these. I'd like to start wearing lashes a little more often. I'm really lazy about doing eyelashes. Um, but I just have a mixture of different lashes to try. Um, most of these are ones I have not tried before because I just don't wear them that often, but that's my last drawer. All right, I absolutely love the way this drawer turned out. This is just my lipstick bullet drawer, so I tried to organize them by brand. So I have all of the um, Urban Decay Revolution, the old packaging lipsticks in this, in this compartment here. 
These ones are MAC lipsticks and so is this. I have Burt's Bees right here as along with some from Milani. This is a mixture of high-end ones where I only have like one of, like I only have one Marc Jacobs, so that guy's in here. I only have one Buxom, that's in here. This is from Estee Lauder, so that's kind of how that got organized. Um, same thing with this. This is all um, like drugstore where I only have one of, like the Bella Pierre. Um, that's a Victoria's Secret. I've got my NYX um, matte lips over here because I had a lot of those, so those went in there. And then these are some more that are just like singles, and they're mostly gold ones, so that's what I put in there, but I put a few others that just wouldn't fit anywhere else. So this is like from Besame. Um, this one here is a cargo lipstick. Uh, what's this? This is, what are you? Oh, this is from Julie Hewitt. Uh, lips, lipstick Queen, that one's a Charlotte Tilbury, so it's just kind of a mixture of stuff in there. And then in the front here is everything that didn't fit, I just kind of shoved in because there's a little extra space between the storage containers and the actual drawer, so I just shoved a bunch more that didn't fit in here. Alright, this drawer here is all of my liquid lipsticks and lip pencils and lip stains, or like um, lip crayons I should say. So the lip stains are like right up front here. These are all lip stains. I have my larger liquid lipsticks, um, like the full size ones in this side, and then the smaller like travel size ones in these compartments. And again, I tried to go by brand, so I have like a bunch of ColourPop and Stila ones in this first compartment. This one I have some Sephora collection and some Wet n Wild um, catsuit ones. And then in the back there I have all the ones from Pure Cosmetics, along with the NARS ones. And over here I have all the lip pencils, so I have some from ColourPop, I have Revlon, um, there's, these ones here are my favorite, the Too Faced Lip Injections, I love those. So that is this drawer. Alright, and then when we come up here to the letter folder, I'll show you guys what I have in here real quick. Um, the lighting's never great up here, but I do have a couple of my chocolate palettes, the Semi-Sweet and the Original Chocolate Bar. My Modern Renaissance palette, behind that is my Peach palette. I have my Lorac Pro, like the regular size, one, two, and, uh, and three in here. And then back here I have some larger palettes, like my uh, Violet Voss Pro. I have my Carly Bybel palette from BH Cosmetics. There's a MAC palette and an Ofra um, palette here. And then this is one of my favorite, my Mi Vita Loca. I um, love that palette. And then these are both customizable palettes back here. So that is what is up here. Okay, so next to my Alex 9 drawers, I have this Miki desk from Ikea as well. And right above that, I have my fragrance. Let me open this so it's not reflective. So this is my current fragrance collection. I did a full uh, video on this recently, so I will link that above. I do have a few new fragrances in here since that video, um, but it hasn't changed too much, so I will link that above for you guys. I'm not gonna go through all of those. Right below that, I keep this little container that has my setting sprays stored right on top. I do let my beauty blenders dry up here, so I do have a couple beauty blenders sitting there drying. The bottom drawer here is all of my lip glosses. I don't have a ton, so I just keep them stored in this drawer here. Um, I have my mo most favorite ones up front, so my Anastasia glosses are my favorite. I really like these ones from Mana Qatar as well. Um, I have a Marc Jacobs one in here and some other just random. Um, and then there's a bunch of smaller sized ones kind of shoved in the back here. And then in the uh, little drawer above that, this is where I've been keeping all of my uh, makeup use up products for 2017. It's right on my uh, desktop, so I like that um, it's easy for me to get to these, but they're still separated from everything else, so I don't forget that these need to be used this year. So, um, yeah, these are all the products I'm trying to use up this year, so that's what's in this drawer. Um, next to that, I just have this one setting spray that was too big to fit up there, which is my Mario Badescu setting spray. And here is my brush holder. They're very dirty, so don't look at how dirty they are. Um, then I have this little container from Ikea, which I moved all of my lip pencils here. I decided to move these here because 
when I do my uh, shop my stash I don't want to pull out lip pencils anymore because basically when I reach for a lip pencil it depends on the lip product I'm pairing it with and um, a lot of times it's hard to kind of figure that out when I'm pulling products for my shop my stash so I just like having this now on top of here so when I'm using a lip product if I feel like I need a lip pencil I can just go through here and grab what I need so that's gonna be there from now on alright I do have my other desk over here uh, with my workstation I'm not gonna go through all of that because um, I, this is just my makeup collection video but I do show all of that in my um, reorganization video again um, which I linked above and then I'm not going to go through all my nail polishes I did get that polish rack from Amazon I did get some questions about that last time I showed it but um, it's really easy to find it is from Amazon I'll link it down below for you and last but not least I have my everyday makeup drawers which I'm not going to go too in depth on these because I do talk about these all the time in my shop my stash video so this whole side here is all of my skincare products that I use on a daily basis in the mornings so so that's where that is all kept. I have some mis miscellaneous like tools here like my um, color switch and some spatulas and um, that has some alcohol in it, a little spray bottle, stuff like that. And then I have some makeup brushes here that are too big to be kept in that container. And my everyday makeup drawer palettes are on this side. All right, and then this drawer has all the rest of my everyday makeup. So I have like face powders, foundations, concealers, lip products, um, pencils, and mascaras, and then like single eyeshadows here. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this um, makeup collection for 2017. If you guys have questions or comments, please leave them down below. And make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will make sure to make videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.